Stop the cap. <laughs> Stop the cap right now. Stop the cap. No bullshit, bro. channel lurking bro we at 67 subscribers i'm trying to hit 100 subscribers before the year is over with so uh i know y'all come through y'all come through every time y'all be lurking bro i'm gonna give y'all five seconds one two three four five subscribe bro Subscribe, man. Subscribe, man. Subscribe, bro. Subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Hit that like button. Comment down below to become a leader. Gang. Uh, member. Bah! Today, we got Lexi V03 re reacting to. We're going to react to her uh, her sneaker collection. 2020 sneaker uh, collection. I watched a little bit of the video and I was like, bro. Her collection is too, it's too fire, bro. It's too fire, bro. I gotta react. It's too fire, bro. I got to react. I gotta react. So, hopefully we can make some noise on this one. Hopefully we can get her attention, you know what I'm saying, of me reacting to her 2020 sneaker collection, man. So, no further ado, let's get into the reaction video. Hey man, let's get into the video. This video is like 34 minutes. So what I'ma do is I'ma do a part one and I'ma do a part two. Um yeah, so um her name is Lexi V03 Sneaker Collection 2020. Let's get into the video, man. Five, four, three, two. What's going on guys? It's Lexi VO3. Welcome back to another video. For today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys my sneaker collection 2020. I'm here to let you know I'm vibing. If you feel the beat, come vibe with me. So I normally I like do one of these videos okay. every year in light of me almost hitting 1 million subscribers. If you guys have been she here, then you know it. I'm talking about being here for a long time, like back in the day. Back in 2017, I released my sneaker collection in like December and that video is what got me to my first 1,000 subscribers. So here it is, the video that hopefully gets me to 1 million subscribers. So if you're watching this video right now and I don't have a million subscribers, then hit that subscribe button. I'm so she close. She already I'm got like it. 98 <laughs> 
thousand. So hit that, that subscribe button if you are not subscribed and be it. a part of the family. I love you guys. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so first shoe is up here. These are my bread ones. I love Brits. this shoe, you guys. I Brits. got this for my birthday. Brits. Such a classic shoe. I'm not sure how many times this shoe released, but it wasn't very many times so i'm so happy to finally have a pair of these got my hands on it my mom got me for it for my birthday I already seen next like up we have the, the bread toe ones love this shoe so much the leather is so amazing on this shoe and i just have to tell you guys the leather is literally it's that, that leather is nice. That leather nice i love this shoe so much this is the kind of shoe that i would love to get like all creased up and for it to look worn because the leather is just it's built for it so i love this shoe so much i got the shattered, shattered backboard, backboard 3.0s there's so many different you know shattered backboard versions but this is by far my favorite this is the patent leather version so it's got that shiny Already orange and black with the cream ready. at the bottom love this shoe so much yeah this shoe right here is like i love it so much so Shattered backboard 3.0. Royal toe ones. So we just saw the breads and we saw the bread toe ones. So now we get to look at the royal toe ones and the royals are in there as well, the royal ones. Love this shoe. Now the leather is not as good as it is on the bread toe ones, but overall it's a dope shoe. The color blocking is really nice. I love everything about this shoe. It makes me smile. Shadow ones. This shoe, I'm so, I don't want to say I'm mad <sighs> or pissed, but I am a little salty at myself because when this shoe first dropped, I was like, ah, whatever, I'll pass. I'll pass if it's still those. there later, I might come I'll back pass. for it. But it's sold out like that. And I don't know why I was not expecting this shoe to just sell out. It's a Super dope shoe, and it's a Jordan 1. Everybody loves Jordan 1s. The leather is really good, too. I had to buy them later, and of course, I did not get retail for this, but I love this shoe. Awesome shoe, and I'm glad I got it. This shoe is my literal child. I love this sneaker. This is one of my first ever pairs of Jordan 1s. I love this shoe so much. I got this for like my 14th birthday, five years ago, maybe. What? That was so long ago, man. I love this shoe so much. It's the Jordan 1 Royal Blue. For some reason, I can't get myself to wear this shoe anymore. I can't damage it anymore. Like you can right, see, right. it's like the paint's kind of fading. It's been creased, scratched, scuffed, all of it, all of it. But it's still in pretty good condition. If you ask me, it's not beat to the ground, but it's been worn and you can tell, that's all. I am considering getting another pair of this sneaker because I just can't get some myself to wear this one some ever again. I love it so much. Up next, I have two pairs of this next sneaker. Two. These are the UNC oh, to bro. Chicago. Hey. Dope shoe, but the only thing about it is this is a women's release shoe. And if you guys are sneakerheads no and you're a woman or a girl, if you have gotten the women's release shoe, shoe and then you've bro. gotten like the men's or the, or the uh, boys' release shoe, then you'll see, you could tell the shoe is made differently. It just throws the silhouette of the one off just a little bit because they make it for women's feet so like the toe box is a little wider to me that throws the entire silhouette of the shoe off in my opinion i mean it's still a dope shoe i love the colorway that's why i couldn't pass up even if it is a women's shoe we got the pine green one I'm this shoe i those, think released bro. this year really earlier this those. year maybe like february of this year i had to cop this shoe bro, that, i love green on it that green and nice. black. They released another like pine green shoe earlier. I don't know what year it was, but this was another one of those so green releases. Crazy, and I love bro. this shoe. I think of the so other one crazy. right here where it's black, it was white. Court purples. This is a sick shoe. Sick I think shoe. they released a different, you know, version I'm of the court purples now. where this was sick black. Shoe. I don't Dope know. Shoe. I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure I'm right. So this is the court purples. Love this sneaker. What's super cool about this shoe, they sent like these tie-dye purple laces. I haven't taken them out the package yet because I don't know, I really think the black looks sick on this shoe. Here's another shoe I'm salty about. This is the Obsidian Ones. Why I'm salty about this shoe is it's a dope shoe. It's like literally so beautiful. And I'm also pretty sure that this sneaker came with different laces i had the carolina blue color in i'm pretty sure it came with like the dark blue as well why i'm a little bit salty about this shoe is because the patent leather version to the obsidian ones is just 10 times more sexy than the normal leather shoe so i am kind of upset because like when i look at that shoe and then i look at this one it looks just way better so that is definitely on my list of purchases to buy eventually we have the first class Air Jordan 1s. I got this shoe off StockX, but this was like their like first class flight whatever shoe. I still never took the verified hang tag off of from the StockX shoe. I don't know why I haven't taken it off, but super dope shoe. What I think is really cool about this shoe, they snuck Michael Jordan's signature right there. I guess they didn't sneak it in there. Are you good? <laughs> I guess they didn't sneak it in there. 
Dope shoe, dope shoe. I love the barcode and the, that bright, vibrant yellow. Next up, man, this sneaker is from years ago. This is, I got this <laughs> five or maybe even six years ago, probably five. Fun fact about me, like before I really got into sneakers, I've always been into sneakers, I've always been in the game, but before I was like invested, I used to just buy sneakers that were on sale. Like if it said, oh, it was blah, blah, blah. Now it's, ooh, 80 ducks, ducks. <laughs> I would literally go and beg my mom to buy it for me and I would like scrape up 80 bucks. I would go through everybody's closet and search their pants pockets and their jacket pockets to see if they left anything like a dollar, two dollars, a quarter, anything. I would literally be scraping up change for some sound like me no cap. Like, i don't even know like these are okay they're cool this is like one of their heiress collection sneakers it's got that red insole i guess the aglets on the shoe is pretty cool and the jelly bottoms but i don't know this shoe just doesn't look good on my foot it's a little stiff there's no real leather on the shoe at all this sneaker okay i have to put both of them out because they're not identical so this sneaker is so dope i picked this up this was just like a, a normal pickup i went to the mall and i saw the sneaker and i was like oh that's kind of cool so i bought them but what's cool about this is because the swoosh on this sneaker is yellow and blue but the laces are pink and green yeah, and then on dope. this sneaker it's green and pink I went by and blue. you see what they did there kind of fine like, I'm not even sure what girl, this sneaker is called play I see some no, girls I'm not even gonna try dope. and guess I don't know I thought this was a dope sneaker I wore it love it like this the, is like uh, my first I Jordan like low now that I think about it. I don't have another pair of Jordan 1 lows I love the silhouette of the lows so I'm definitely gonna be picking up some more Jordan 1 lows but yeah size 6 my size all of these I'm trying to get into Jordan 1 lows but before I get some lows I'm gonna get some high first I only got me it's so. Katrina 3. So this is such a dope sneaker. I got it a while back, but I got it in the wrong size. For me, 3s, I can't get them in a size 6. I have to get a size 6.5. But any other sneaker, I could get it in a size 6. Like, it's so weird. I don't know why 3s are so small. My toes literally touch the Bro, toe I wear like shoes. 3 sizes. I wear so eight, it's kind of small, eight but I pop no, out I the insole. Nine, anyway. so Next up, we have the infrared 6s. Now, the original of this released like a long time ago, but this one, I don't know when this released. I think it was like 2019 maybe, or yeah, probably 2019. I, of course, moved my lace lock to the bottom. I think it looks so much cooler at the bottom. But yeah, this is a dope sneaker. I love this sneaker. I considered buying this sneaker so many times before I knew it was going to re-release. I considered just buying like one of the older releases of it, but I'm super right, glad right. they re-released oh, it geez. because it's a dope shoe and I love it a lot. When I bought this shoe, guys, it didn't get anywhere out of me for Black the Cat first four. couple months. Now, I love this shoe. I rock it all the time. I think it's super dope. Fours look a little big on me. Facts, and facts. I used to always be rocking skinny jeans. Bigger shoes, like in my opinion, on me. I don't like the way big shoes look with skinny jeans, but once I started, you know, branching out into like different worlds and different jeans, and so I've Got the like baggier look. I don't know what to call it, but yeah, I love the way look. these shoes yeah. look with some of like the jeans I have now. So I rock this sneaker all the time. It's super dope. Just... And it's literally all black. Every single closet. thing on this shoe, yeah. except the Jordan guy on the bottom, is <laughs> black. And I think that's so dope. So cool. So sick. Moving on, we have the DMP sixes. No, I have not worn this shoe yet. It is a dope shoe. I don't know why I haven't worn it. It's got this like cool little dog tag. Oh, yeah, I haven't worn this shoe yet. To me, this Keep shoe is just kind of rushed. I don't know if it's this specific pair, but there's some places on the shoe where it's just not crispy. And Shoes like that. It should nah. be for the amount Keep of the money Jordan's cost. So um, I think it's cool. It's got like this 23 back here on the inside. It says 2020 in there. So yeah, it's a cool shoe. I was considering taking it back for the longest because of like just these random imperfections on both of the sneakers that I don't know. If it's not like 100%, I'm not going to pay my money for it. And you might look at that and be like, oh, it's not that deep. But it is to me. Next. Um, Next yeah. we have the Chrome Sixes. The Chrome lows. Six lows. This is my first pair of Six Lows, and I think they're pretty dope. I don't really see people with Six Lows on. That's why I got these. Of course, I moved the lace on the bottom. I You'll find that because you can see in this shoe. They're originally up here, which I don't like that at all. It just it's weird. Yes, these are three pairs mm, of the same exact sneaker. Story behind this: I was gonna resell them. I still might. <sighs> They're all dead stock, except for one a pair isn't dead stock. So one of these pairs is a dead stock, but here we have the bread. 11s dope sneaker i i don't think i meant to buy them three times i think i meant to double up because i normally double up on sneakers that i like a lot and then i actually got another one and i was like i'll just resell it and i never resold it this is a re-release keep I them love all keep them the all. fact that they gave keep us fat all. laces like 
all the 11s, the men's versions of the shoe, they have the fat laces, and all the boys' versions, they're always the skinny laces. So I love the fat, juicy laces they put on this shoe. I just, I don't know, it makes Keep me them all. I don't have any outfits in these. Like, I, I, don't, I don't have any pictures in them. I haven't really worn them for real, but I love the shoe. Here are the Win Like 82. These are the win like 96s or the win like 92s or the win like 82s. I get this confused all the time. I, I'm pretty sure it's 92. 6. 96. It's 96. This is a dope shoe. Right. When this shoe came out back in like 2018 probably, yeah, 2018. I loved this shoe and I barely wore it. And now... It's like 2020, everybody's pair is beat to the ground. I'm sure there's like some people who, you know, didn't wear those, wear theirs like too much, but this is in still pretty pristine condition if you ask me. Like, I did good. Cause this shoe is I like so her. dope, like especially in Christmas shoes, time. Clean, the outfits you, you know can put together saying? with these. Every time I take yeah, out my shoes and beat, I really look at them, I just get, fall so much up to more the in love with my sneakers. You know what I'm saying? Know. Is that weird? Next up, Gamma Blue 11. <laughs> All right, I need to chill out with these sneakers cause it's such yeah, a dope you shoe. Chill. Like, you gotta chill, this just is get just hot up in here. I actually did hoop in these one time. Don't come for me. I had to. Hey, there's no wrong. But yeah, with, after that, them, I just, uh, I'm trying to lemon. chill. Because I don't want to mess them up. Because this, obviously, I couldn't get this on their first release. Because this released back in, let me check. 2012, 2013, around that area. And I just got these, like, 2018, maybe. So I obviously could not pay retail for them. So yeah, I had to pay resale. Resale price. Next up, Gamma Blue. I mean, <laughs> ah, Space Jam. Space Jam. Yeah. I remember trying to get these like I want to say 2018 when they came out and I couldn't get them and I couldn't get them and I couldn't get them. Still can't this get them. This thing is so dope. They re-released it. prices on them Space Jams, bro. I missed it. Like, I tried so oh. hard to get them and I couldn't get them. But so tough. Got them now. I did not pay retail for these, of course. But super dope sneaker, man. It's such a nice sneaker. So trying to keep these nice and cool like the... When like 96 is because I just think it's a dope sneaker. I love it. And it's a space jam. All right, so these are still dead stock. This is the Concord 11s. This pair is still DS. I gotta get my hands on those too. Nowhere at all. Got the factory lacing and everything. Haven't even like put my foot in it because I have another one. But these are the Concord 11s. I don't even remember what year these came out. Probably the same year as the breads. This is the pair that I have worn. You could tell because I spilled something on my shoe right there that I have to clean. But yeah, this is a dope sneaker. We got the fat laces. I love the fat laces. To me, the fat laces add so much more to the shoe. So um, got the fat laces and I really like that. I don't know if my plan was to resell these or just to double up. Gotcha. What I like cool. about the shoe, we got the 45 in the back. The only thing is the 45 is it stitched on like it is in the Space Jams, but you know, it is what it is. Super cold shoe. Then we got the wind like 80 something. I think it's 82. I mess this up all the time when I'm doing this shoe and this shoe. I mess up the years. But this is the Win Like 82s. We got the Carolina blue colors in here. Man, it's such a dope shoe. It's dirty though, but super dope. You see, the laces aren't fat, but that's okay. Super cool, super clean. I haven't worn these in a long time, but still a dope shoe. Ooh, 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 ooh. So these. These and the Gamma Blues are like my favorite. We got the Carolina Blue colorway. So these are the Legend 11s. I love these so much. I don't wear them too much. I used, when I first got the shoe, I wore it a lot. And I wore it in some grass. Sorry, y'all, my so mom. Dumb, like what? Busted my Makes me mad, but. To me, this is a dope sneaker. It didn't deserve the treatment that it got, but. It was like one of those unfortunate days where I was like, oh, I'm gonna wear these. And then I ended up having to do something and I needed shoes to do it, but I didn't want to be in these shoes, but I didn't have a choice. So yeah, super dope. Stuff. I ain't cutting then, no, Oh man, we no cap. red velvet levels. <laughs> no cap. I think my mom was more hype over these than I was. Those, I those was velvet. in, was I in eighth grade? Or ninth grade. Something. I don't know, this is a remember. couple years ago that I got these. When I got these, I was happy to get them because the hype for them was like crazy. Everybody wanted them. Me personally, I just didn't really like the shoe itself. But when I look at it, it is pretty dope. It got like literally the where it's supposed to be patent leather is literally velvet. Yeah. So these didn't get worn in the rain or in the snow. These were kept nice. This is also a winter shoe. Like if, if I saw somebody wearing these in the summertime, I would just know that their feet are hot. So <laughs> got these. 
I guess this was like the twin sister of the Red Velvet Elevens. I want to say these released the very next year on like Black Friday, the Stingray Elevens. So it was pretty similar how they took off the patent leather, put whatever the this glitter, thing was. We had like the gold accents, just like the Red Velvets, but it was black. So I think this is actually a sicker shoe. It's cooler to me than that shoe. Iridescent Elevens, y'all. I had these for three, four years, and I have not worn them. I might have worn them maybe once because there's no shoe tree in them, but I I don't think I wore these more than one time, but I don't know, I had to get them. So these, looks nice. they look like the Concords until you put them in that light, light and, and that you green. see that they're actually like these emerald green yeah. color. But this, is, this was a cool shoe. When I got it, I thought it was super dope. The bottom, the soles of it was like iridescent. Thought this was cool. I think they released sometime around Easter. Yeah, because it was around my birthday when I got them. Next up, cool gray cool eleven. Yeah, I beat these oh. shoes. Low key. Oh, not even low key. I beat them. <laughs> these are the cool gray elevens, but that's I not even half as bad of the other people wow, beating their shoes. That's not. That's so disrespectful. <laughs> I don't know what I did when I had these shoes on, Man. but it's not too much. I, but still, that's a not little bad. rejuvenated. That's not so. bad. The cool gray eleven. That's not bad. The normal ones, they're not low. Just a little I think stuff cooler, here and there, but, but um, that cool. is not Next bad. up, Bleach Coral 11s, I think. This is a cool shoe. I got these around my birthday, too. I don't know. My mom hooked me up around my birthday. She always gets me Jordans around my birthday. I went to my own birthday party at, like, uh, Stars and Strikes. So that's why the bottom of the shoe looks like that. But I don't even really care. The shoes, I mean, it's a cool shoe, but it's not, like, one of my children, like, over there. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, you got a lot more rows to go. All right, here. Let's make it. I'm getting those next. Now, Nike when I was blazers. in California, I got these those. with my dad, and that's when I was like, "This it's is sick. such a sick, sick. shoe," and sick I thought shoes. it was so dope. And I was like, "I'm gonna bring the blazers back." Now, I don't know if I, if I, I don't think I brought them back, but I remember being like, "All right, I'm gonna bring the blazers bring. back," because I, I didn't see anybody wearing them. I wouldn't no say cap. I really brought them back, because I don't know if they were ever really gone. But uh, I, I know in, when I bought them, I never saw anybody wearing them. And now it's like I see everybody. I really wearing don't them. see a lot of people wearing them. But I see a lot of people wearing them. And maybe that's because like my interest in things have changed. So I'm seeing, you know, fashion and people wearing them more. Next up, I gotta get some Nike Cortez. I got these when I was in. Color, whoa. Oh, comes off. But I got these when I was in California. Um, Powder Blue Threes. Now this is such a dope shoe. I don't see people with it a lot, but I. So that's the end of this video. I'm telling y'all, I'm doing uh, this. This one was part one. Next video is gonna be part two because this video is like over thirty minutes long. So um, yeah, man. No further ado. Hope y'all enjoyed this video because. Man, I can't wait to see the other part. Like I said, I watched like a little bit of it, and then I was like, "All right, man, let me react to this video. Let me like, I think I think this would be a good video to react to on my channel." So, yeah, it's part one. Next video, I'm gonna do part two. So, if you're new or if you're watching this video and you like this video and you like my channel so far, man, don't hesitate. Don't hesitate. To hit that subscribe button, man. We had set, we had uh, it's 67, yeah, 67 um, subscribers, man. So don't even hesitate to hit that subscribe button. You know what I'm saying? So hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that notification bell. So whenever I drop a new video, you already know. So you could be the first one to pop up, right? You know what I'm saying? So, this is 3K TV. This is another video. And I'm out. Peace. I'll see y'all part two.